Good morning. I am going to tell uh, today about the, the topic course and uh, the resolution of course, characteristics of courses here in engineering mechanics. What is course? Force. Force is an external thing which uh, tends to change the state of motion of the body. It can be represented uh, when uh, it can be represented uh, like this. When we are going to represent, we should have four things. First one, point of Second, direction. Third, nature. And fourth, magnitude. You see, here this is the point of contact. The point of contact means the force applied at that point. And what is the direction? Direction is uh, here, which shows the alma. And what is the nature? Is is it pull or push? This is pull. If if likewise, uh, if the force is acting here, say this is the point of contact. And this will be, this is the direction. The direction is same, but the nature will be different now. It, this, this is pull and this is push. So, this is also important one, uh, which indicates the force. So, types of forces, there are uh, several types of forces. First one, uh, collinear forces. Second one, parallel. Third, concurrent forces. Fourth, non-concurrent. non-parallel forces. What is concurrent forces? If there are three or four forces in the system, then the line of action of these three forces will lie in the same line. Then this type of system is called collinear forces like here parallel forces this indicates itself as uh, forces which are parallel with each other then it is called parallel forces here like forces and unlike forces <coughs> here you see the force in this system the forces are like this uh, the, back, the direction of the forces are different but they are parallel with each other say F1, F2 and F3 here the light parallel forces is the forces which have the same direction and unlike forces are called uh, if the direction is different then the forces are called unlike forces and concurrent forces the forces which are uh, passing through a single point the concurrent, the concurrent forces means the forces which are passing through the single point is called uh, concurrent forces this is F1, F2, F3 
So the line of action of the three forces who are passing through the single point. So this type of force is called uh, concurrent forces. And non concurrent, non parallel forces means uh, either they are not parallel and they are not concurrent uh, with each other. <coughs> this is called non concurrent, non parallel forces. You can see the system. This This system F1, F2, F3. These three system of force. In this system, these three forces are not parallel with each other and not uh, concurrent. That is, the forces which are not uh, passing through that one point. So this is called the non-concurrent, non-parallel forces. This, this, this is the fourth uh, system of force. This is non-parallel. Non-concurrent forces. Here, for this system of forces, we use to find the resultant of the system of forces. What is the resultant of the forces? The force which replaces the system of forces is called the resultant force. For collinear forces, uh, the resultant force can be defined by R. If you, see, you can see here the collinear forces, F1, F2. The collinear forces means the line of action of all forces will lie in the same line. So, uh, the resultant force is find it by adding or subtracting it. Uh, we can see uh, one example here. This is F1, in the same line, another force is lying F2, and in the same line, this is F3, which is acting opposite to these two forces. Then the resultant force R is equal to F1 plus F2 minus F3. This is called the resultant force of these collinear forces. Like this, for parallel forces too, we can find the resultant of the parallel forces. For example, the system of forces having a pi forces that is F1, F2, F3 and F4 and say F5 here. So to find the resultant R is equal to you have to add uh, the forces which are in the same direction and you have to subtract uh, the forces which are in the opposite direction say F1, F2, F4 are in the same direction so I am adding these so three forces first and subtracting the opposite forces that is F3 and F5 then you will get uh, the resultant of the parallel forces right next is concurrent forces as I say uh, I, as I said uh, concurrent forces means the forces which are passing through the same point so here to find the resultant of the concurrent forces we have several problems, several uh, ways if two forces which are passing through the same point let us say P, Q and then some angle alpha then we can find resultant force by using parallelogram method. Parallelogram law that is R is equal to Q sin alpha by P plus Q cos alpha and this, this indicates the magnitude of the resultant force but the direction of the resultant force is given by theta that is theta is equal to tan inverse of oh, sorry. <coughs> this is this is theta this is the direction and the resultant is called r r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos alpha. This is how we find and the 
resultant force so what we will get will be the r and the direction theta is making with q this is your theta thank you